Hello class! Before we begin to paint, let's learn how to use these paint brushes. So I have two here, but we need to treat them the same. Usually when we paint, we need our brushes, water, and a piece of paper towel to clean up any messes. Let's get started. So our paint brushes are very delicate. I like to think of our paint brushes as people and the hair on top is just like the hair on our head. So we want to make sure we're gentle with the head of our paintbrush and we are not smushing it. We want to make sure when we use our paintbrush on our paper we are nice and gentle because our brush is standing on its head. We don't want to smush all of our hair into the paper. We want to gently drag it along the paper. Let's practice before we start with our paint. Another thing we need to consider when using paint brushes is our water. So water is very important when painting because we need it to clean our paintbrush's head. So I'm lightly swirling it in the water just to clean the hair off of our paintbrush's head. But guess what? We do not want to leave it sitting in the water. If we leave our paintbrushes in the water, all of our hair will fall off our head. So when we're done with our paintbrush, we want to place it on our napkin or put it heads up in our water. That way we don't drown our paintbrush. Next, color mixing, okay? So when we begin to use our paintbrush, we want to gently swirl it in our color. See how I'm being very gentle? And now we're going to drag on our paper to create whatever type of painting we are making. See, I'm being very, very gentle. Now let's use the next brush. I'm starting off by dunking it in the water and gently pushing against my paint. See, awesome, we are already almost professionals with our paint. If you have a big puddle of water, you can lightly press your brush against your paper towel and pick up the water that's extra on your paper. Now, what happens when I want to switch colors? We want to make sure we swirl our paintbrush's hair in the water before we move on to our next color. If we want to mix colors, that is completely fine, but let's do it on our paper. See how I'm mixing my colors on my paper and not in the tray? I'm swirling my brush again, and now I can dive into a different color if I want. To check if our brush's hair is all clean, we're gonna swirl in the water and gently press it against our paper towel. See how there's a tiny, tiny bit of red on my paper towel? That means my brush is not clean, so I dunked it in the water and tried again. Now I'm able to change my color to green and I decided to mix it, so I'm mixing it right on my paper When we are all finished painting for today, let's make sure our brush's hair and head is nice and clean.